Hello traders, Rich here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to share an honest review of Insider Finance platform and features. Make sure to watch it till the end for a chance to win a free monthly subscription. So let's get started and as usual, cheers. I find Insider Finance quite interesting and their website says it all. Whether you are a beginner or a professional, Insider Finance provides the data tools, education, and community you need to succeed. No matter if you trade stocks, crypto, forex, and so on. So first, let's go over the website real quick, and then I look into my account to show you the platform from the inside. One of the main insider finance features is that it sorts incoming option orders from the large institutions in real time. And it filters the results in a unique algorithmic way, leaving you with the highest probability setups. Moreover, you can find many powerful analysis tools, such as Smart Market Insight, Dark Pool Prints, uh, Top Tickers, and a heat score that help you pick trades easier and faster and cut through the noise. You will also get access to algorithmic trade ideas and breakout signals, stocks, crypto, forex, news sentiment, and market scanner, and industry leading ticker analysis. If you scroll down, you can see the features here one by one. That's the one I showed you previously, dark pool prints, and here's your heat score. If you scroll further, you can see industry leading analysis and visuals. Look at how clean the visuals are. You got everything you need in one platform. So you don't need to open many tabs to check all the information of this particular ticker to make your trading decisions. That's very important. And they also got their own indicators and signals. We'll get into this in a bit when you log in. If you scroll down, you can see that indicator on trading view there. You've got two oscillators or momentum indicators, and this one here giving you signals with stop loss, entry, and take profit. You can also like request uh, access to it, uh, like it comes with for free with your monthly subscription. If you want, you can also check it out real quick. Now let's get back to this one and finish these ones. Unusual options activity and sweep activity. So quickly find the highest conviction trades, unusual options activity and smart money positions with the most urgency. And you can filter all the information that you see with these presets that they, they, they already put together, or you can click on custom and filter the, the, like, the info that you want to see through price, ticker type, ticker flow, and so on. Last but not least, we can see that we've got unmatched market context and news sentiment. So you can get an overall idea about the overall market if you are currently overall bullish, bearish, or fear, greed, and so on. And you got here the top recent events. If you scroll down, you can find more information about the indicator, complex analysis simplified, the fortress risk management, ultimate trend confirmation, and you can read all the characteristics here. Then you can see the recent top alerts. Anyway, I'll log in in a bit and show you the platform from the inside. Long story short, for what we covered so far, institutional investors or smart money use their access to insider information and sophisticated technology to move markets with an unfair advantage. Insider finance tools simplify complex analysis to level the playing field for every trader. Now we've got good news for crypto traders. You can see a platform that includes everything you need to make your decisions from sort of score, sentiment, market fear grid, uh, signals, news, and so on. For example, if you click on Filecoin, you can see the appropriate news for it. But if you click on GRT, this box could change and you can see the appropriate good or bad news for GRT. Anyway, when I log in, I'll show you the interactive platform. The most two important features that I like in this particular one is solar score and bus score. For solar score, catch the next moonshot with coins ranked for higher potential and bus score see what's hot on social media which is very important without digging through feeds and you can see fear versus greed news and social sentiment you can check their reviews here last but not least these are the three plans as you can see it's the exact same package all right let's go over it real quick the only difference is 
if you save more money. For example, if you go to the quarterly, you will save some money and so on for the annual. So the same exact features, real-time options, order flow, dark pool and equity prints, robust technical analysis, live sale ideas with proven ra uh, track records, and so on, right? So we've got many, many features, on-demand historical data, custom watch list, Discord access, and so on. So now you, you, you need to sign up first, as usual, for free. Use your uh, email and password. I already signed up. So I log into my account. I went for the quarterly to check the platform out. So let me sign up and show you the platform from the inside. Of course, I also add my referral link in the description below. And I'll tell you why at the end of this video for a chance to win a free monthly subscription. So let's do it. Here's how the platform looks from the inside. You've got everything you need in one platform or what I call an all-in-one. Look how clean and structured the platform is. Now we are on dashboard, then we'll check ticker research, cryptocurrency, Forex, top tickers, and news with sentiment. For the dashboard, you've got put core flow, contracts traded, smart market insight, and real option flow. These ones are fixed, but you can change these two windows. It depends on what you want to see and what you are looking for. For example, I can change top ticker graphs to sector graphs. I can change dark pool to signals and alerts. And I can even customize this little box. For example, I only want to see the signals and alerts for stocks, so I can click on the S. Now I see the signals and alerts for GE, and for example, CAT and so on. Now I want to see only the cryptocurrencies, so I click on the C. Now I can see ICP, Solana, VeChain, and so on, right? So you can customize everything you need. You've got the P sets here, or you can even click on the custom and change, here we go, the price, ticker type, out of the money, ticker flow, and so on. Next, you can also only see your watch list. For example, I, I'm monitoring a couple of tickers. I don't want to see everything. I want to focus on a couple uh, of tickers. So I can click here. For example, I previously added Baba. And let's say I want to add or remove a ticker from my watch list. So I can go here, click on watch list, and I can simply add, for example, Uber. And here we go. Now I can see Uber here. And I can you know what, let me remove it to, to see a better example. Let's go for top tickers graph again, and let's unbox or untick this one. And I can even filter these ones by simply clicking, for example, let's go for sweep OTM. And here we go. So now I can see the biggest or the highest sweep OTM, or I can click on it again, and I can see the lowest one. And so I can scroll down and up. For example, I want to change it from this one to, for example, the average, uh, average expiry. So I can click here. Now I can see the ones that are expiring last, or I can click again and see the ones that are expiring very or the soonest. And you got the idea, right? So to total contracts, you can also see the biggest contracts and the smaller contracts. And this is the heat score, which I showed you previously. Anyway, we'll get into it in a bit. The way I like to use this one for the stocks, I can go here, top ticker graphs, and instead of out of the money or OTM, I like to go for the unusual volume. If I click here, I can see the unusual volume that's happening recently. For example, I got Baba, Uber, F and so on. And if I click, for example, on Uber, let, let's click on it. A new window will open, which includes what? Uh, ticker research. Like I, I simply click on ticker research here, right? But let's give it a separate window because now this is, uh, the first one is for the dashboard. And now I'm, I want to dig in to see what's happening for this particular one. Now, a new window will open, which and will show me customized data or information for Uber. And I can see that we've got unusual volume. Let me go over it again. For, for Uber, I clicked on it and I saw that, here we go, all of them are call options. So smart money or institution 
uh, institutional money are, are buying this one or are expecting that Uber price is going to go up. For example, you can see the strike price is ranging from 32.5 to 40. And the good thing is I can just with one click, click on stock screener and I can see the chart. It's powered by TradingView, which is amazing because that's the platform that I use. So I can remove indicators, add indicators and whatever I want. For example, I can remove the volume, zigzag and so on, right? So for now, and one more thing before I forget, dark pool prints, I can see that the volume here, that's simply what, if you multiply this number by this number, you will get the amount, which is 25.4 million. So 867K times 29.27, you will get this little number, this big number. <laughs> Okay, so that's basically it. If you go to option flow, you will see the orders that the big institutions placed. They're expecting that. And as you can see, all of them are cool. That's why you see here 100% cool, 100% bullish, that the institutions are expecting that Uber is going to hit these numbers here. So you can go to, which is a very important feature to, because it filters that the unlimited number of stocks and now you can focus on the ones where you get unusual volume so you click on stock screener and it depends on your trading plan you can now like for example watch for example when this high this is on m30 when this high is broken upward now it's an extra confirmation that i can enter a buy right so always follow your trading plan this is just to give you an overall idea on what stocks or tickers or whatever or market you are trading to focus on. You can even check, and these two windows as mentioned previously here, you can all, always change it to what you want to look for. For example, if I want to look for the volume or the premium expiry, I want to go for signals for this particular one. If I want to go for news, which is here, I have 28 positive news and seven negative news. And I can read it here real quick, right? So everything I need for this particular ticker can be found here. I can see the current price, day low, year low, and so on, right? And this little box here, if I click on it, I provide insider uh, finance uh, with my trading view username that I can get access to the indicators which we saw which we saw on the home page which can, I can also use to, to, to like base my trade decisions on okay or if you have or you already have your trading plan you can simply follow it right so this is like what already went on the ticker research here right so we've got these ones that you can filter you get the unusual volume. I can also go for call volume only. I can also go for sweep volume and so on, right? For these ones, I can go for top news or top movers, right? So with just one click, you can check all like, like the, the news that might affect or all the tools, confluences, clues that might affect a, a particular ticker or what are the criteria that I want for a particular option or, or stock ticker to be on, on my watch list. And I can always add or remove my watch list. For example, like I, I can divide it in my like hot list that I want to keep an eye on. So that's it for the ticker, which is the dashboard and for the ticker research. Now let's go and check the cryptocurrency. For cryptocurrency, you get a similar dashboard, including everything you need from solder score to sentiment, market fee versus greed, signals, news, and so on. You also get this dashboard where you can filter the coins and tokens that you want to monitor from the highest volume to the lowest volume, highest market cap, lower market cap, hourly social sentiment, hourly social mentions, daily social sentiment and mentions. And the ones that I want to keep an eye on, as mentioned previously, is the solar score and bus score. So I want to go for the highest solar score, which as you can see here in green, or with the ones with the highest bus score. For example, I have K and C, which have a good solar score and bus score around 73. So if I can click on it, I can see its chart, which is very important, that I can see everything I need in one 
platform. And if I click, click here, I can see the news for this particular one. For example, I've got 26 positive news, which I can read and go over real quick and zero negative news, which is what I want to see. And from the chart, I can see that we've got a big range and lately price broke it upward around 2.5 and made a classic retest. So in three tests, I can look for buy setups. So now clearly the buyers are taking over, which is like showing pretty good here, a good solar score, good sentiment. And we are now in a greedy, like like market for this particular one. I can also check the signals, for example, and YCP, like I have three kinds of signals, short, trend change, or long, right? Which is also good, a good area to look for potential setups. So for example, if I get a long on Alice, I can also click on it and check the chart for it and look for setups, right? So it's a good, uh, platform to look for extra confirmation, check the news, check the overall market conditions for the sentiment, market fear and greed, and greed in one single platform. I can also click here and check the news for the overall market, for the ticker news sentiment, market news sentiment, and here we go. Now let's check the Forex dashboard. If you click on it, you can see the chart in the middle. On the right, you've got signals and below it, a meter or the overall strength for this particular pair. You can even go for the long-term view. For example, on monthly, it's a strong sell. On weekly, it's also a sell. So our overall bearish and you can confirm it by looking at the chart to our overall bearish price is making lower highs and lower lows. So that's how you put everything together in one place, a meter, the chart, and you also got the signals here, and you can even check the news by clicking on this particular one. So 12 positive news, 16 negative news. And for example, that's how you can use the signals here. That's how it filters the overall market to know which pair to focus on. For example, we've got a long signal, a buy signal on NZD USD. If you click on it, you can see its chart, its news, and also the meter for it, the strength for it. And for example, you get a long uh, signal. You also look for extra confirmation. For example, you go for H1. I'm not going to go into details on technical analysis for now. Feel free to check my other videos on YouTube. But like, here's a quick example. So we had this minus swing high price broke it upward. So you could look for bus setups here. That's how important it is to look for the signals, chart, meter, and so on. Next, you also got the news, which is very similar to the one we saw on cryptocurrency, ticker news for overall direction, market news sentiment. If you scroll down, you can see the news for the day, top recent events. And if you scroll further down, you can see Fed news, ECB news, top positive sentiment and top negative sentiment. So you've got everything you need to do your fundamental analysis in one place, separated and multiple columns. Last but not least, you've got the market. If you click on it, you've got the screener and the heat map. Also get to see the signals here and the top news. For the screener, you can filter what you want to see by performance, oscillators, trend following. If you want to see the major, if you, are, you only trade the majors, you don't need the minors, so you untick it. For the, uh, for the, yes, before we go over the heat map, for the all time high, for those who like, would like to trade it, if price approaching the all time high, all time low, and the filters are there also. So you can filter it on and see whatever you are looking for. That's how you filter the overall, like especially if you are trading many pairs. So now, for example, I want to focus on these seven pairs only. Next, if you click on the heat map, you wait for a little bit. Let's wait for it and take a sip. Cheers. You can also get an overall idea about how a specific currency is performing. And for example, we've got a minus 0.47% here. So we get that we see that cross CHF and Euro or Euro CHF as overall bearish. And for example, for the Euro CAD, here we go, we've got 0.56%, right? So that's also 
a good cheat sheet for you to monitor and for you to know which pairs you want to look for. And you've got many, many currencies, right? So you can check this one, check the screener, check the signals, and then check the chart to make your trading decisions all in one place. For news with sentiment, just like the one we saw on Forex now and previously on cryptocurrency, we also got one for stocks. If you click on it, you can see a very similar view, ticker news sentiment, overall market news sentiment, but this time for stocks like Apple, Tesla, Google, and so on. If you scroll down, you can also check the recent news, top recent events, and the categories like earnings news, technical analysis news, top positive sentiment and top negative sentiment, all in one place to do your fundamental analysis. Last but not least, let's check the top tickers. This feature is like a quick cheat sheet for you to know which tickers to focus on for the next day or week. And it's divided into three categories. The first one is most out of the money trades with short expiry, abnormally high volume compared to average daily volume, or even most active tickers traded through sweeps. You can click on each category and scroll down to see all the tickers inside it and add it to your watch list. That's it for my insider finance review. And if you read so far, I want to thank you for your time and hope you find this video useful. As I mentioned at the start of this video, now you have the chance to win a free monthly subscription from insider finance. The steps are very simple. First, create or sign up for a free account using my referral link. I'll make sure to attach it in the description below. Next, write your name in the comment section. Next to it, write Insider Finance. And next week, same day and time of this video, I'm going live on YouTube and select one random winner. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next one.